Our meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. We've got ourselves another band of showers and storms pushing their way through this morning. We've got a wind advisory. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed the howling wind across the Gulf Coast. That's in place until 10 a.m. The good news is the high wind threats we've been experiencing as a result of Ida are finally going to begin to subside after we get this band of rain to push its way through. You can spot that on the radar and this is the last of the rain bands associated with Ida. And you can see lightning torrential downpours are approaching the Interstate 65 corridor. You got another band ahead of that that's stretching from Evergreen down to about Brat, Florida, and all of those storms are working their way from Atmore to Flomaton and Bruton just to the east of I-65 and around State Highways 113 and 41. And then the last leg of the storms rolling through Chanchula, approaching Saraland, Satsuma, Criola, Westmobile, Dawes, and eventually Grand Bay and then the eastern shore. And once we get this band of storms through, you're going to end up going much drier for the afternoon and evening. Where is Ida? Well, Ida, now a tropical depression, the center of which is over Tupelo, and she's going to keep veering to the north and east through Tennessee and eventually into parts of Virginia and then back off the northeast coast by the end of the week. Counterclockwise motion is steering those showers and storms from west to east down here on the Gulf Coast, but we get an improvement in our weather by this afternoon and we see lower humidity by the end of the week, setting the stage for a really nice Labor Day weekend. On the future cast, storms will work their way from the west to the east, and you'll notice by the time we get to noon, things end up going mostly dry, and we actually get some peaks of sun back out on the Gulf Coast. As we head in toward the late afternoon and early evening, a few showers, though, will try to track their way in from the north. Here's a look at how the next seven days are going to stack up and you can see high temperatures get up to near 90 degrees beginning tomorrow. We go much drier for the end of the week and the Labor Day weekend, that unofficial end of summer with temperatures getting into the upper 60s both Friday and Saturday morning and Labor Day weekend. Not bad rain chances right at 20% each day, so mostly dry conditions with pretty decent supplies of sunshine coming back. We are going to keep you updated on your forecast throughout the day right here on Fox. Fox 10 News Now.